Okay, so today we're gonna reveal all the all-wheel drive 2JZ secrets, like everything out there so you guys understand like what everybody's running, what I'm running, how my kit compares to that, and then you guys can uh, kind of figure out how you wanna set up your own cars. I'm just gonna dive right into it. I'm not holding anything back. I'm gonna tell you guys everything straight up and transparently because none of this information should be a secret. Spent me a significant amount of time, money, and resources uh, to get to where I'm at currently. If you guys could, please uh, support the channel and subscribe, it's free. Uh, and I'm gonna basically put out all the free games so you guys understand like how to get this set up in your own cars. In terms of kits we have releasing right now, we have the all-wheel drive, 2JZ slash 1JZ kit for the IS300 shipping by the end of the month in August 2025. Then we have the Supra and SC kit coming out in a month and a half. It will be done by next month and shipping the month after. Um, and then GS300 guys, we also have you guys covered by before the end of the year. So we will have kits for the IS300, the SC300 and the Mark IV Supra, the GS300, uh, all those kits will be done before the end of the year. They are all different because there's all different mounting points and bolt points and all sorts of other things that are just different about the cars. Um, so it, if you have a Supra, don't buy the IS300 kit, buy the Supra kit. If you have a GS300, buy the GS300 kit. The, the parts um, will be similar, but not the same. So if you want a bolt-in experience, I definitely recommend buying the specific kit for your chassis. Uh, for any chassis that we don't currently support, we will definitely have kits for in the future, or if you want to do a one-off build, uh, we can definitely handle that as well. I know some guys have asked about the UZ parts. We do have some UZ all-wheel drive stuff in the works as well. So some of the stuff that I've done here is actually transferable to the UZ. So don't be surprised in probably like six months or so when you see all-wheel drive UZ IS300s out there, or all-wheel drive UZ Supras, SCs, or GSs. So the GS400 guys, the SC400 guys, we also got you. So one thing I just want to cover, because there was a couple guys that were just like, oh, you're not the world's first. Like there's plenty of cars and this guy's done it and that guy's done it. And yes, I know that other people have done it, but the key phrase in what I announced was that this is the world's first bolt-in kit. So what that means is, Quite literally, you purchase these components and all of these parts bolt to the chassis. They bolt to the factory mounting points where the control arms and the subframe goes. Uh, and it is quite literally the most bolt-in experience you can get. The other guys that have all-wheel drive cars, all-wheel drive two JZ cars are using JDM imported parts from Japan only. And all of those parts are extremely expensive, discontinued and extremely rare. Um, at least for us in, here in the US. Uh, basically, the all-wheel drive parts that a lot of these guys are using is off of the JZX all-wheel drive 2J's car and the all-wheel drive Jita. So they're basically taking those sumps and those front cut of those cars and subframes and all that such and such and basically cutting and welding all of the mounts from the frame rails onto these chassis to get them adapted. Um, my kit has none of that. We, I did not modify my frame rails at all. I quite literally put my subframe in, bolted it in with four factory bolts, and that was it. The only similarities between my setup and theirs is quite literally that it's all-wheel drive and it's a 2J, but that's pretty much it. Everything I'd use is custom. I made a custom all-wheel drive sump. It is not an OEM Jita or JZX sump. Uh, my front differential is not OEM, JZX, Jita. My control arms are custom. My spindles are custom. My steering rack setup is custom. Uh, my transmission mounts custom. Literally everything on this car is custom built by myself from my own design. Um, everything in regards to my all-wheel drive kit is as close to factory IS300 suspension geometry as, as, as it could be. Uh, reason being is because uh, it retains a lot of the factory characteristics that you guys are all used to. Uh, additionally, uh, I've kind of adjusted some things to be more performance oriented. So like the IS300 chassis was never meant to be a race car, right? It never was meant to go around a track or do 200 miles an hour. It just wasn't built for that. Um, I've adjusted some things to accommodate for that. So for example, the caster on this car is actually more comparable um, to an R35 GTR now. So you get that self-centering and uh, stability at high speeds uh, with, this, with this setup. The uh, OEM 2J imported all-wheel drive parts that some of these other guys are using, um, those parts do not bolt onto this, uh, this setup. So like the all-wheel drive Jita or JZX sum does not bolt to a rear-wheel drive 2JZ block. It does not bolt. The bolt pattern is the same, but you can't bolt it on and just use it. The oil pump on the all-wheel drive 2J is different. 
The oiling system is different on the all-wheel drive 2JZ block. The block itself is physically different. The pickup tube is different. The sump is different. Everything is different. Um, all those parts are very rare. They're discontinued and they're expensive if you can find them. I've had a bunch of guys reach out to me that have all-wheel drive JZX cars, uh, Gitas, etc. And they're like, what are you using? Like, can you, do you have any extra parts? All that such and such, because they can't find parts for their own cars. So there's a plethora of guys out there who can't find these parts, um, or they're extremely expensive to the point where it's cost prohibitive, which is why I developed an all-wheel drive bolt-in kit. Again, it bolts into your factory car, to your factory suspension points, everything bolts in. Um, you do not have to cut your frame rails like the all-wheel drive imparted parts uh, require. So some of the all-wheel drive IS300s that you may have seen, those cars actually had JZX um, parts or Jita parts swapped onto them. So basically they got imported crate cars, um, basically just transplanted all the all-wheel drive factory 2J stuff into their cars. Um, the issue with that and the route, the reason why I didn't go that route is because of cost, part availability, and also safety uh, and performance. So in terms of cost and availability, those parts are super rare. You cannot find them. And if you screw something up or you need a replacement control arm or you need ball joints or you need bearings or you need a wheel bearing, you cannot find them. You can't even cross-reference part numbers to find parts in the US for them because they never were made here ever. So you can't get any parts for them. Um, so you could go and purchase those parts, but just understand that you cannot service them. You cannot replace any parts on them. It's gonna be very difficult uh, to do, and it's gonna be very expensive. Performance, so a lot of the parts that I have on here are actually engineered. I ran through the FEA analysis. I'm an engineer by trade. I've worked in manufacturing for over 10 years now. I have engineered this kit to perform and to bolt in, to solve all of those pain points that all of the all-wheel drive parts have. Um, my all-wheel drive sum, for example, bolts to your rear-wheel drive 2J. So the pickup tube and everything fits on the rear-wheel drive 2J. Um, and keep in mind, the all-wheel drive 2J parts uh, that are imported are, are NA only. So they're naturally aspirated engines, they're GEs, they are not turbo engines. So the oil pump capacity and the volume of oil that those pumps flow is 15 to 30% less than a GTE pump would make. So if you could run those parts and you could cut and you can mangle those things together. Um, but welding on cast aluminum is extremely difficult uh, and it's it's all all around it just wasn't a safe way to set your engine and set up up so that's why I went the route that I did um, I wanted to make sure um, that I had a safe setup where all my suspension geometry is quite literally built in the computer in CAD and everything is as perfect as it can be um, and everything in terms of like stress and analysis and um, all the engineering that goes into the kit has already been done. So I know these parts can handle all of the stress and all of the loads that I put on them. When it comes to the all wheel drive imported parts, you're pretty much guessing. Like we've seen that those cars have been performing pretty well. Um, but again, they lost their ability to, to steer uh, in some capacity. They can't really make full U-turns. Um, they can't uh, find parts, they're not available and all that such and such. So. The reason I created my own kit was to have uh, an affordable kit, a serviceable kit, um, something that's OEM plus. I'm really big on that, making sure the car is as factory feeling as possible, but has that performance benefit um, and safety. So the control arms and everything are, everything I have is laser cut. Um, so everything is as precise as it literally can be. In terms of transmission options, there is so many options that are out there. What, I'm what I've run in this car right now is a 4L80, so basically like a truck transmission um, with the NP241 transfer case. Um, that was my preferred route because it's a super affordable transmission um, that a lot of guys are probably gonna opt to get because they're so available. Uh, they're easy to build. The kits are out there, you can DIY it or you can have a shop uh, make it. Um, and they're proven, so like we know they're gonna hold the power. Um, in terms of other transmission options, you can run a 6LADE, you can run a TH400, you can run an 8HP, you can run a T56. I'm currently working on the T56 stuff. Um, there is 100% a way to convert those to an all-wheel drive configuration. I'm currently working on it. Um, in terms of transfer cases, there's again, multiple options. Um, you're really limited by what transmission you can bolt to the 2JZ. So like what, what adapter plates are already out there would probably be the route that I take. Um, they have 2JZ, 1JZ adapter plates for the 4L80, so you can just buy that and get to the races. Same for the 8HP, same for the T56 and so on. Um, 
in regards to the T56 parts, that is going to be a little bit of ways. It is an R&D and a development process, and those parts have to be ran through their paces so that I know uh, they're going to perform and hold up to all of the stress and the power that you guys can throw at it. Um, I expect that to be done before the end of the year for sure. Um, in regards to uh, the all-wheel drive kit as it sits, it's going to consist of custom subframe, custom spindles, um, basically all the parts that you need to get it going. Um, there are a few OEM components that doesn't make sense for me to provide. So like say in the steering rack, um, the electric steering that I have set up in the car, um, a few of those little components that just wouldn't make sense for me to provide um, just because it would just be added cost for no additional reason. And also it's better for you guys to be able to source those parts yourself uh, with the kit. So like if you need to warranty any parts, you can. Uh, when it comes to uh, transmission options, again, you're limited on left side transfer cases. Uh, so basically anything that drops on the left of the vehicle because the differential right now is on the front left of the vehicle. In regards to right side drop transfer cases, I can support that. But if anybody's interested in that, definitely reach out. We can set up something custom. Uh, any other chassis that you guys have, like RX-7, uh, S14, S13, uh, 240SXs, BMWs, like the F30s, X-Drives, or anything like that, uh, if you guys want custom setups, we definitely can do it. Uh, just send, me, send us an email, our contact form at our website, allwheeldriveengineering.com. When it comes to DMs, it's really difficult to respond to all of those because it's a combination of people who are just like kind of saying, hey man, that's really cool. and. Uh, other people who are really interested, it's hard to get that line of communication going um, through all platforms. So try to condense business uh, inquiries through the website or through the email. Uh, that way I know the more serious folks that are looking for something are there. Um, if you guys want to set up a call or uh, a Zoom call or anything like that or, or a meetup and we can go over some of your, your car and your, your specific setup and get this swap done for you, we definitely can reach out and then uh, we'll make that happen. Um, for any parts that don't exist, we make them in-house. Uh, we do the engineering on it to make sure it's safe and it's going to perform as it's expected. In regards to performance, so uh, I do have videos releasing shortly on uh, some of those details. Uh, what, you know, the car runs, uh, no prep, what it runs on prep, um, some off-road like rally style content because it's all-wheel drive now so we can kind of play with that stuff. Um, and also one more thing I should mention about the transfer cases. Uh, we do have a transfer case we're also playing around with that bolts to the 4 l e that is a true all-wheel drive transfer case. So it's full-time, all-time, all-wheel drive, uh, and it's also adjustable torque vectoring. So you can actually adjust your split front to rear just like the GTR. Um, so we have all of those things in development. We have all those things in process. I'll also do another video on all the OEM, GEDA, and JZX uh, all-wheel drive components so you guys can get a feel of what they actually look like. And actually, I have hands on the parts uh, to show you, like, you know, what the difference is between my kit and those parts. Um, so that you can kind of better understand why you would probably not want to use those parts um, and why there were some pain points uh, there that uh, led me to develop the all-wheel drive bolt-in kits. In terms of kits we have releasing right now, we have the all-wheel drive 2JZ slash 1JZ kit for the IS300 shipping by the end of the month in August 2025. Then we have the, IS, the Supra and SC kit coming out in a month and a half. It will be done by next month and shipping the month after. Um, and then GS300 guys, we also have you guys covered by for the end of the year. So we will have kits for the IS300, the SC300 and the Mark IV Supra, the GS300. Uh, all those kits will be done before the end of the year. They are all different because there's all different mounting points and bolt points and all sorts of other things that are just different about the cars. Um, so it, if you have a Supra, don't buy the IS300 kit, buy the Supra kit. If you have a GS300, buy the GS300 kit. The, the parts um, will be similar, but not the same. So if you want a bolt-in experience, I definitely recommend buying the specific kit for your chassis. Uh, for any chassis that we don't currently support, we will definitely have kits for in the future. Or if you want to do a one-off build, uh, we can definitely handle that as well. Um, I know some guys have asked about the UZ parts. We do have some UZ all-wheel drive stuff in the works as well. So some of the stuff that I've done here is actually transferable to the UZ. So don't be surprised in probably like six months or so when you see all-wheel drive UZ IS300s out there, 
or all-wheel drive UZ Supras, SCs, or GSs. So the GS400 guys, the SC400 guys, we also got you. I had a few guys ask about the new Supras, so the Mark 5s and newer the R, looking at doing all-wheel drive swaps for those. Um, there are all-wheel drive uh, components that we think would be compatible or maybe work. Uh, so that's something we're definitely exploring. So for any of the right-hand drive guys, we definitely can support you. Uh, just feel free to reach out. All the parts we have now are for left-hand drive cars, but we definitely can just some things to make it work for the right hand drive guys if you guys are interested uh, definitely feel free to reach out uh, if you guys want a custom one-off build uh, we definitely can handle that for you just let us know we're based out of south florida please reach out to the uh, contact us on our uh, website or our email and uh, follow us on all socials to keep up to date with the build and none of this stuff should be a secret so we want to make sure that like we're putting out as much information and being as transparent as possible we will have a ton of video series dropping shortly also have a giveaway plan so we're basically going to be doing an all-wheel drive 2jz giveaway um, i'm not sure what car that is going to be yet it could be this one it could be another one um, but definitely subscribe and follow us on all socials to stay up to date with that stuff I really appreciate your support and thank you guys all